Now, effective communication with Phil Zeller, CEO, Dale Carnegie, Southwest Michigan. I'm giving it all she's got, Captain. I just can't give it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show. This is Effective Communication. I'm Phil Zeller, and in the studio with me is my good friend and colleague at Dale Carnegie Training here in Michigan, Alyssa Bellinger. Hello. Alyssa, you know, as we kick off the show today and we're sharing people with ways that they could be more effective and putting their presentations together or getting their ideas across, just on a one-on-one, whether you're having it with your significant other, or with a, a child or a friend, or whether you got to teach classes and you've been teaching a lot of teachers how to teach online. Yes. And it's interesting because I think of Charlie Brown. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> and we all remember the Charlie Brown Christmas special and stuff. And Charlie Brown had a teacher and it was like, uh, you know, it's like listen to paint dry, right? So what is it that, you know, you start thinking about teachers and you start thinking about what can we do to help teachers? You've helped a lot of them, but more so for me and on the show, we really focus on any human being just making them more interesting. Because we like interesting stuff. We like shiny objects. And say, like, ooh, look, squirrel. <laughs> right? It's those moments where the ADHD kicks in. And I once had a fifth grader tell me, I must have it. He, he diagnosed me and told me I have it because I, 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 he says, I've just been watching you. You can't sit still. <laughs> <laughs> I've been there before. <laughs> but as, as we think about when you're putting together a presentation, and you were sharing with me off air, one of the things that you do with teachers is you really work with them to work on their tone and inflection. Tell me about that. Yeah. When you think about when you're having a conversation with somebody, they know that you're listening you know, to them when you're not in your head or you're, you're asking a follow-up question. Or you're saying, yeah, you can tell that you're interested. And with what we're doing now and working online and being online all the time, sometimes it's, it's hard to really have that person behind the screen come out and l- let somebody know you are a real-life human being. <laughs> <laughs> Well, some of the best advice I ever got, and it it was using an analogy. Now, I'm a Michigan native, and when I was growing up, we used to go to Belle Isle. We used to watch the Detroit Grand Prix, and it was really cool to be out there on the island and and watch the Indy cars go out there. And the amazing thing about Indy cars is that they have those paddle shifters right up there on the steering wheel. And I can't tell you how many thousands of times during a race they shift gears. And the question is, why do they shift gears so often? Well, you got to speed up, you got to slow down. You're going over 200 miles per hour and straight away, you come out on a hairpin curve, you got to go all the way down like five miles per hour to make that corner so you don't crash into the tire barrier there and destroy your car, right? Yeah. So these cars are shifting through the gears up, down, all the way through the race. And it's the one who could go the fastest around the track without crashing <laughs> is usually the one who wins the race, right? Usually, yes. <laughs> So it's a simple process of deduction here, but we can use that analogy to think that when we're putting a presentation together and when we're actually delivering a presentation to use our tone, use our inflection, think of it shifting gears, just like that Indy car. Sometimes you're going to go really fast on that straightaway and other times you're going to slow it down and shift down, gear shift down, yeah. take that corner. This is going to get emotional for a minute. You got to take this slow. Yeah. And all of a sudden, as soon as you get back out of it, what are you doing? Wah, 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 right. You let those gears go up, right? <laughs> Shifting through those gears. And I've always loved that analogy because I know listening to you and watching you work with instructors, you do a lot of interruptive coaching. Yes. And, and share with us, how do you help them when they're in the middle of getting their presentation, help them to become more interesting with their tone and inflection? Yeah, well, you know, one of the things is you have to really make sure that, of course, you know what you're talking about first. And when you do, you know, if you're excited about it, let other people know that you're excited about it, right? And and if it is more emotional, you know, use that tone and inflection to be able to really um, you set the tone. You know, you think about the first time you get together with somebody, you begin in a friendly way. Well, are you excited to see them? You know, like a dog wagging its tail. Are you excited? Or or are you setting the tone in a different way? And just the way that you communicate with somebody by using that tone, it, it sets the expectation. And I'm going to validate that with a word from Dale Carnegie. Dale Carnegie said, TV does it. The movies do it. Why don't you do it? <laughs> All right. Make it interesting. Dramatize your ideas. Add the special effects just like they do in the movies and have that impact on people. And I, and I got to imagine, Alyssa, when you show them how to do that and you train teachers how to do that, they get much more engagement from their class members, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so 
And we're a little word of advice to you today. If you're putting together a presentation or you're talking to somebody, use your tone, use your inflection, shift those gears, get around the track, win the race, win the conversation, make your point, get that engagement. And by doing that, people will appreciate listening to you.